This is Bola Slum. Its name is derived from Bangladesh's largest island. With half of the island swallowed up by the waves in the past 50 years, this Dhaka slum is home to thousands of Bola's climate refugees. I miss our way of living back in the village. Here in the city, everything's much harder. You have to struggle so much to get by. Bangladesh faces a number of threats from climate change. Millions here have been displaced by river erosion, tropical cyclones and annual flooding. That's why, despite its status as a poor developing nation, many Bangladeshis are serious about taking steps to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. There are only a few hundred buildings in the world that have been given platinum certification by the LEED rating system. Cityscape Tower here is looking to become the first Bangladeshi commercial buildings to join their ranks, offering large savings in electricity and water use. But when it comes to LED certification, the garment industry is outpacing all others here. While the industry here is infamous for the Rana Plaza collapse, which killed 1,129 garment workers, high-end factories are hoping to change the sector's image. This unit in Ghazipur is one of three factories run by the SQ Group that have already achieved platinum LED certification. 14 Bangladeshi garment factories have already been LED certified. It's expected that 150 factories will go green by the end of this year. From the exhaust fumes of those generators, what we are doing, we are tapping that fumes and converting them into energy and running uh, some chillers to air condition almost uh, uh, more than 66,000 square feet of factory. For garment owners, LED certification adds to their branding making them more attractive to Western retailers. In the end, this might be the only concrete benefit of their efforts. With Bangladesh playing such a small role in global emissions, their environmental impact may be limited unless more developed countries follow their example. Mahir Sattar, Al Jazeera, Ghazipur, Bangladesh.